Hey, 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 hey
I forget what the original bet Mook had. It, it was, was Matt like, Ryan. It was, it was like a point spread. It was, it was the bear. Oh, the first the one. Getting, the boy getting their shit blown out by the Bucks. Uh, Mook didn't believe that the Bears would get blown out by the Bucks, so that was their original first pie bet. Mook got, you know, gets to take a pie to the face. And uh, the last week they called and they bet uh, that Matt Ryan would have I forget how many yards and how many touchdowns. 300 yards and two, and two touchdowns. <laughs> and, look, and let me tell you, there were no touchdowns in that Atlanta game. <laughs> so, yeah, so there were plenty of touchdowns. They were all cowboy touchdowns. <laughs> Double pies. The best timeline. Speaking of that, I'm ready to talk about this first game. I oh, don't have any, You guys don't have anything you want to recap? Uh, I picked up Julio's replacement to play this week, so hopefully he does well against the Texans. Uh, oh, I'm on the Texans again. Um, the Cam- Pittsburgh tying Detroit last week. Oh, uh, yeah. God, I said it was a game. A lot of Pittsburgh fans know it was a trap game coming in. We played down to that type of level, and, you know, we were without a lot of our starters on the offensive side of the ball, so. Cam Mason Newton Parker looks like one of the worst bad or worst backup quarterbacks in the league too. Regardless. Cam Newton, two plays, two touchdowns. Uh, Maybe Cam's gonna give the Panthers some life. Four plays, I think it was. Okay. It was three or four. Either way, he outscored like a million other fantasy quarterbacks with just four plays or three plays. It was beautiful, and I'm glad I have him on my roster to start him this week. You know, like, good for Cam, but fuck him at the same time. Um, <laughs> so, with him playing Ron Rivera, is it, like, kind of a revenge game of some kind? I don't know, because I don't know if, I don't know the situation there. I don't know if Riverbo Ron wanted to get rid of Cam or if that was a general manager situation, but we'll see. Apparently, there's no ill will towards each other, so. Yeah, I mean, I, Riverbo Ron's a great coach. I mean, he's always been a really good coach, so. Yeah, and you know Cam's the type of player he he went out, took care of business, got himself a job. Like mm-hmm. people so, seem to really like Cam. He kind of went through and proved himself. So Mook, I got a question for you. Okay. Do y'all still have uh, the old Washington QB? Haskins. Yeah. Do you think y'all are going to give him a shot instead of Rudolph if Big Ben doesn't play? No, I do not. A, we went out and signed another quarterback, and B, there was already reports coming out that uh, Dwayne Haskins' warm-up preparation was not up to par for Steelers' standards. Apparently, he was throwing bad passes, and I don't know why they're making a big deal about He was apparently on his phone a lot, which can, he could be on his phone for a lot of different reasons. He could be changing the song on his phone. He could be... You know, he could be doing a lot. A lot of players are on their phones throughout warm-ups, but they're saying for being one play away from being the Steelers' starting quarterback, he didn't prepare like it. So the, the they're upset with Haskins. I know that in Pittsburgh. En- enough to go out and sign a practice squad quarterback off, off someone's practice squad. So I do not think we will be giving Haskins a shot unless Rudolph goes down, and there's a reason why Ben's our quarterback right now and kind of shows in. Right now, I know a lot of mock drafts has us projected a left tackle, but man, if we don't get a quarterback in the free agency, then I don't know. It's going to be a rough year. It's going to be a black and yellow number 12 on the Steelers next year. I'm predicting it. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Yep. I can't believe Nathan Peterman would change his number just to join the roster. (laughs) (laughs) You know, um, AKA the Seahawks daddy is going to be all quarterback next year. Uh, I'll take anybody. Geno Smith. <laughs> Seahawks daddy. I'll take Geno yeah. over... over the, the discount, uh, the discount double check. I like Geno. <laughs> oh, interesting fact of the day, though, I saw. TJ Watt has more sacks, that, sacks this year, 11 and a half, than the whole Atlanta Falcons defense, 11. Oh, yeah, Mook. You know, you know when I quit watching that Cowboy game? As soon as Diggs got that interception and they benched Matt Ryan, I was like, well, there's nothing else to see here. <laughs> Did they bench Matt Ryan? Oh yeah, they benched him after the after the Diggs interception. They actually played Coon's boy. I didn't know he was a Falcon, but uh, they played Josh Rosen. Oh, for sure. He was out there either. Did he look any better? I don't know. I didn't get watched that game. 
Probably not. Well, Diggs, the second. Diggs caught the second one. There was another interception. I think Matt Ryan threw that one before he got knocked out. But yeah, I don't really think I have anything else big. Uh, Odell, I don't know why he did, but he debuted for the Rams. Uh, he he went a... positive. <laughs> he, he went two receptions for 18 yards. I know, I know that because Mook sent I'm, me a I'm meme. On three target. A meme about it, but. Uh, At least he's got something. Uh, <laughs> he ran back. Dude, he fumbled. That fumble was fucking awful. <laughs> he ran backwards and then fumbled. Oh, man. Deshaun Jackson. He, 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 caught like a, he caught like a fit a 40-yard bomber down the field like a post route. Then for some reason we're like ran sideways slash backwards and the guy came and knocked punched it out. Yeah, he had a touchdown basically. Or if he would have just kept running straight, but for it, some reason he decided to like cut back. The worst part it was on prime time. It was on Sunday night, so <laughs> everybody's seen it. Oh yeah, for him playing on the Chiefs. What? Well he's on the Raiders, but playing against the Chiefs. Oh, yeah, it was my bad. It's all good. And, you know, Kansas City finally pulled their head out of their ass. They realized they were in the spotlight and said, let us just go drop a 40-burger finally. Let us look like the Kansas City Chiefs. Thank God. But, yeah, I don't, I don't really have anything else. Um, and, yeah, I can't think of anything. Joe Flacco starting for the Jets this week. I thought that helps you with anything in life. I want Kyler to come back. I, I I wouldn't expect Kyler to come back myself. I don't think we I don't think we play him and risk a re an injury when we're still in a good spot for playoffs. Well, it helps when the Rams are getting blown out by the 49ers. Oh, for sure. I'm sure that made you happy. Like, oh, y'all did something, San Fran. Let's go. Yeah. Wait, I, yeah, I mean, when in my, my fantasy game on the second to last play of the game, I was watching it, like, on stream. I was like, Mitchell, I swear to God, if you fucking lose yards. <laughs> <laughs> they ran it. He got the lead. And I was like, okay, just don't lose yards, Mitchell. That's all you got to do. Oh, if they had Mitchell need the ball. <laughs> oh, bro, I would have cried. Because I won by, like, less than a point. Or, like, by exactly a point. It was not a very good timeline. Oh, uh, I took the lead in our pick'em league. You took so, the lead with record and there. Yeah, I had a historically bad week. I told you I only I, called three I, games correctly. I, I am I am happy to report that the king is back here. <laughs> not for long. This week is probably gonna go awful for me. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But, but uh, yeah, I have some questionable picks so. But, uh, yeah, yeah, Mook took second, too. I played so bad, Mook leapfrogged me as well. Uh, well, yeah. y'all want to start? Um, the first game on the docket is the Patriots going to the Atlanta Falcones. I put 13 points on the Patriots. I mean, they've won their last four. They look like a fucking... Bill Belichick looks like he's, you know, back to being the best coach. The defense looks good. They look like a playoff team. They don't like they're going to win the Super Bowl or anything, but they look like a very competent playoff team, and Atlanta, quite frankly, just kind of been looking like Atlanta all season. So I got 13 on the Pats. Well, great minds think alike. I also have 13 on the Pats. For all, uh, you know, they've looked good. Atlanta yeah. has looked like Atlanta, and that's and you, really it. <laughs> Have, I don't have nothing. Hold on, let me put. I'm just kidding. I have 11. On, on you. Pats, sorry. Uh, I too have 11 on the Patriots. Uh, not as high on the Patriots. I, th I think they're just a great coach team. I, that roster just doesn't impress me that much. I think if that was coached by any other team, they'd be. Bro, enough. Jacoby Myers, he's a god. But the Falcons are the Falcons are hurting. They're without. Court or they're they probably going to be without Cordell Patterson. And he's their whole offense. <laughs> and he has basically been their whole offense this year without Calvin Ridley. Can, can I? Kyle Pitts going. Mike Davis has been awful. They're going to put Wayne Gallman in probably starting. So I will be ch taking the Patriots with eleven points. Mm. So uh, uh, 
I would like to say that I was wrong about the Pats. I no longer think they are a super ass team. <laughs> and uh, with that being said, I was at work, and uh, I had the game in my ear because you know I just walk around, have the game in my ear, and uh, the two games I got on TV, and I got to hear were the Cowboys and the Atlanta game. And, and, the, and the New England fucking Cleveland game. And the New England and Cleveland game, thank you. And uh, as I'm hearing this, and as I'm seeing the scores, I'm like, you know, they are promoting a Thursday night game, and one team obviously looks like they're winning this battle. So with that being said, I put 15 on the Patriots. But yeah, I was like, Atlanta's getting blown out, and the Patriots are blowing out. This is like, this, they're going to be like the same scores. And can I add one tidbit on this game real quick? Yeah. Um, I was, all I was going to say was, uh, as far as modern Asians bet go, the Vikings and the Falcons are both 4-5 and five after... Let's go! The after the Vikings upset the fucking Chargers last you week. You made a bet with Asian too? What the fuck? Yeah, they've been yeah. making bets. I was making bet at the beginning of the year, basically, that I said the Falcons would have a better record. He said the Vikings would have a better record. And I'm regretting it now with uh, with Falcons or without Calvin Ridley. is not looking good. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Falcons with Calvin Ridley didn't look very good. Cal- Falcons without <laughs> Calvin Ridley is not looking very good at all. It's, it's like a hot wing bet, but like, oh, like I feel like if I lose, I might... Right now, uh, I definitely choose Minnesota's roster, so you're definitely probably gonna be winning this bet. If if, if I do end up losing, I'll probably just get like that, like the like the death chip challenge. I think Minnesota has a like good uh... death chip challenge. No, that's not. We said hot wing. Fuck your well, death chip. I don't know if that thing's real or not, but everybody says the death true. chip. Yeah. The chip that you buy it from United. Yeah. Fuck that, that chip. Fuck <laughs> that chip. I was chewing it. It was fine. It wasn't burning. And I tried swallowing the fucking chip. And my throat just fucking collapsed. It's like, nah, Nick, or nah, fool. You're <laughs> done. Like, no, I puked. I was vomiting. Well, then I, I drank a go. gallon of milk. I didn't, and the milk wasn't even helping. I finished a whole oh, gallon. God. And... I was going to say, I might do the bomb, but that, that's even, like, that's about the same. Germo and, and Para suffer. Oh damn! No, I, I saw that. It didn't look like that bad. Shit, like I you love like pasta, it, dude. But that was just my it, throat like, like closed, like I couldn't breathe. P- Pero was pretty bad, and so was Germo. Germo was pretty red. It wasn't but... that bad. Um, damn. I'm not doing the one chip. We agreed to a hot wing. Yeah, yeah, no, a hot wing. I didn't think the chip was that bad. <laughs> no, nah, I mean Cole will, Cole will say it's not that bad because Cole wants to be Mr. Macho oh, Man, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-mm. Dude, I'm but, a bitch with hot food, bro. But no, no, don't. I recommend I don't even, not to do it. I want to do the bomb again, so I mean, like, ugh. Jo- Josh took a piece of a chip, the corner piece, because it looks like a Dorito, and he was dying, he said. God damn. Well, then, go fucking Minnesota. Don't let me down. <laughs> uh, the next game on the docket is Indianapolis going to Buffalo. Uh, I put four points on, on the Bills. I think Indy's a very capable team and very well could win this game. Uh, I'm just going with Buffalo because they're the favorites. They've got the best roster and they're the powerhouse in the AFC. And Carson's a very risky quarterback, so I could have picked Indy here. I just chose not to, but we'll we'll see how this game goes. It's a very intriguing one, but I got Buffalo with four. I put 12 on the Bills. Uh I just like the Bills more. I think the Colts could upset here, but I don't have any confidence in it. I think Buffalo's going to handle this game. Mook, you want to go? <laughs> Neither do I. Uh, I have. I took the Bills too, but I can't, like this. I can't see the Colts winning, and I almost want to switch to the Colts if I could lower my confidence on it. I have nine on the Bills right now. Jonathan Taylor's looked really good, leading rusher in the NFL now without Derrick Henry, and uh, yeah, but the Bills are one of the best teams in the AFC, so I don't know. You know why this fucker said no. You know he took the fucking cold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I said no. Because he was eating. Okay. <laughs> Anthony, would you like to go? 
This motherfucker took the cult. I choose the buffaloes with six points. <laughs> the buffaloes. This motherfucker. Are you still on that? Because I saw an upset. I got that cult with one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. It would not surprise me. No. It wouldn't surprise me either. That's why I only got four on this game. Uh, next game on the docket. Baltimore going to Chicago. I don't know what to make of the Ravens after that loss. They've almost fumbled a few games this year. I think they're better than Chicago, though. I put eight points on them. Uh, just Lamar Jackson being the dual threat that he is. Uh... I just don't think Justin Fields is going to play mistake-free enough football for Chicago to win this game. So I got Baltimore with eight, but after last week and the few fumbles, Baltimore's showing that they're kind of having trouble putting games away. So we'll see. Well, I mean, let's not forget they're a world record away from losing to the Lions. At least we tied the Lions. <laughs> Uh, that being said, I took 10 on the Ravens. I mean, in my opinion, it's going to come down to who can run the ball better between Justin Fields and company and Lamar Jackson and company. And I like Lamar Jackson and company and mostly Lamar Jackson more than Justin Fields. So Baltimore has its ups and downs. They're playing, they're playing down to their opponent's level sometimes, but I think this is a bounce back game for them and they're going to show why they're one of the top teams in the AFC. So do you, do you guys smell that? <laughs> Smells like another ups. No, I'm playing. I went with the uh, the Ravens to oh, win. I went with the Ravens with uh, six confidence points. I do think this is a bounce back game. So, yeah, what you want, yeah? He's the only one left to go. I didn't go. Oh, I was gonna you say, did. I think he didn't win. Coon's been hating on the Ravens all year, so I could see him taking Chicago here. I hate. I don't think he likes Chicago that much to take Baltimore or to take Chicago, but. Well, do you guys want... smell that? <laughs> it's an <Yeah>. upset. <laughs> it, I put three on Chicago. I, they have a very impressive record at home. Apparently, and they they like very neck and neck with uh. Green Bay, and Green Bay just passed them. I think Chicago's gonna win this. David Montgomery is coming back, and he's the fucking beast. And Fields has been looking good. I could easily see them win this. I told you he was gonna take Chicago. He's, he's picked against Baltimore like every time this year. Nuh-uh. I picked them when they lost. <laughs> Who are you taking, Diablo? You're the only one that hadn't picked. Uh, Chicago. Oh, he's he's with you on the on the bear wagon. Yeah, he knows to follow the smart person here. <laughs> yes, sir. You damn right. No, that's probably like the one I'm. Mm. Well, here you go, Mook. Here's your upset of the week. I already know. Detroit going to the Cleveland Bakers. I don't think Bakers play it, but uh, I put eleven on Cleveland. That roster against Detroit, like. Cleveland can't possibly fucking blow this, right? 11 on do. Cleveland? It's Cleveland. Of course they can blow it. Uh, Here's the thing. If they manage... I, I think Case Keenum... You cannot play. say with full <laughs> confidence, no way they blow it to the Lions. No way the Cleveland Brown of all teams blow it to the Lions. If you tell me Baker's playing, then I might lower my confidence on this, but I think he's, Case Keenum's going to play. And I think Case Keenum's good enough to beat the Detroit Lions. Uh, that being said, I mean, if Cleveland manages to fuck this game up, I can't wait to see fucking Brown social media afterwards. <laughs> Are you smelling an upset like I am? Because I took the Lions with five points! Um, five? What the fuck are you guys? <laughs> yep. Five? And, uh... This is my one pointer because I don't know what the fuck to make out of this game. <laughs> I took the lines with five. Now, if Jared Goff does not play, I will probably switch to um the Browns. I hate it here. But as it stands right now, if Jared Goff does play, I'm taking the Lions with five confidence points. I put one on the I put one on the Browns. The Browns have. A, 
Huh? Talk some sense. I was gonna say, talk some sense into me about the the, game. the the Browns have a better roster. It's just the uh, it's the Browns. That's the that's Look the downside. If, if that roster was not in Cleveland, people would be saying that roster should be going to a fucking the, Super Bowl. People still say it should go to the Super Bowl with Cleveland. Anyway, I think the Lions are capable of winning this. I think the Browns are capable of winning this. I, I it's a shit show. That's why I put one point on this. I put one point on the team that's. That should win. That's how I see it. But they won't. <laughs> Probably not. You That's like 12 on the line. <laughs> I got um, Cleveland 6. Okay, I'm, I'm with Diablo. I got Cleveland at 7. That's just the way my confidence is. Right, Cleveland gone. 9, my bad. I mean... I'm scoring this game as Jared Goff not playing and Baker Mayfield not playing, and I just like Casey Keaton more than whoever the Lions' backup quarterback is going to be. And like, there's like I, I at receivers. I mainly Case Keaton looked good against Denver two weeks ago when he played. I just, I just, I have a lot of games in the middle that I don't feel good about. If I'm going to put big confidence against someone. It's either going to be Detroit or Jacksonville, so... Not when it's the Browns. Uh, yeah. I'm more shocked that Mook put five on the upset. I know! I was laughing. That gave me a good laugh. Um, yeah. The next game on here, Houston going to Tennessee. I put 14 on the Titans, like... I mean, they're 8-2, and two, and Houston's not very good. Hopefully we don't have a repeat of the Jets performance, but Tennessee, you've earned my confidence. Don't fuck me. 14 on Tennessee. I mean, what's there to say about the Texans besides negative things? I knew Houston was bad, but I thought they were going to be somewhat better with Tyrod in. Oh my god. Go ahead, Diablo. I got 13 on Tennessee. They just can't. They just couldn't protect the poor man, and then they got a glorified fullback in David Johnson, who was supposed to be their premier back after they traded Mark Ingram away, doing absolutely nothing. I mean, it's a shit show in Houston. I, I put all my confidence points in te Tennessee. Oh, I'll take it to Houston. <laughs> <laughs> Great minds think alike, because I also put fourteen on the Titans. I would hope. I just, I just think, I just look, and I'm just, I, even for fantasy purposes, unless you have Brandon Cooks, there's no, there's no Texan you're even touching. Yeah, that, that's all I really have to say about that. Um, the next game on the docket, the Packers go into Minnesota. I put six on Green Bay. I mean, it's a division game. Minnesota keeps all their games close. I just overall like trust Aaron Rodgers and the Packers more. They did say Aaron Rodgers has a toe injury, but it they say there's no reason why he they think he's going to miss the game, so I got if now if for some unforsaken reason Rodgers don't play, I will be switching to Minnesota, but for now Green Bay 6, they just Green Bay feels like they're in that Super Bowl bubble and Minnesota just kind of keeps games close and finds ways to lose, so I have 11 on Green Bay. Oh. Vikings can put up points, but they just never win. Essentially, I know they won last week, but Vikings are just a rough team to trust at all with anything. <laughs> and uh, Green Bay is looking good. And they lost Aaron Jones, but I think AJ Gil Dillon is about to be a monster there this week, especially with all the extra work he's gonna get. And they all. Uh, I don't know. I think that they have it pretty locked up. I just think that, like, the only thing, the only reason why this didn't get as much confidence was, one, it's a division game, and two, Green Bay's offensive woes worry me just a little bit. I'm worried about them dropping an egg, but I do think they're the better team, which is why I picked them. <laughs> I have a uh, 14 on Green Bay. <laughs> I, I don't like having 14 on Green Bay. That's just kind of my confidence points fell for the higher uh, tier. But uh, I do like Aaron Rodgers more than Kirk Cousins. The Kirk Cousins got some weapons. He's got Dalvin. He's got Jefferson. But the Green Bay Packers, their defense is playing uh, like one of the top defenses in the league right now. And 
if I Wait. between Rodgers and Cousins, you, I'm going to take Rodgers. You put 4-2 on Green Bay? Yeah. yeah. How much would you put on the Titans? Then? You see, you put all your confidence yeah. points on the Titans. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Why the fuck that? Green Bay, I put 14. I, wait, wait, you just slided my boy Adam Thielen. Curse you, Agent. I hope he goes off for like three touchdowns now. No. He just I slided my boy. I did. I'm sorry, Adam Thielen, if you happen to watch this. Look, you know, Thielen for me is like, it sucks because Jefferson's like the main guy there, but I'm like, Thielen gets into the end zone a decent amount, and so it's not terrible. To He's your him. Christian Kirk. Yeah. <laughs> he's not a six string receiver. Nah, he's the number two. I already told you. Who well, I would put above him. I don't care who you put above. That's why you ain't managing a team, buddy. Who did you take? Oh, God. Oh, I took Green Bay with eight. I was gonna say, did you take Seattle's daddy or did you take Kirk? If I die, I die cousins. Respect. Well, I did not take if sir if I die if I die. <laughs> oh boy. Diablo who is... Diablo pick, sir? He said he took Green Bay with fourteen. Okay. Same as Asian. Yeah, he agreed on my train. Um Yeah, this next game's a fucking shit show. Miami going to the New York Jets. Uh two is back. I took Miami with five. I mean the Jets find a way to win surprising games, but I just I cannot Trust Joe Flacco meaningfully, and two has looked good, so that's kind of my debate to take the Miami Dolphins. Side note for fantasy, this is a really good matchup for Gaskin, so I expect him to get like seven points. Anyway, I'm hoping for the Waddle pop off if Tua returns. I put 10 on Miami, they're a better team. The Jets are ass. Joe Flacco starting at quarterback there now. If Mike White was starting, I'd be a little bit more scared, but he's not. So, you know, if Mike White was starting this, I might have taken the Jets as a low confidence. Same. Also, but right now, with Flacco, I just don't trust Flacco. I, I like Flacco. I just don't. I like Flacco too, but I, I don't like him as a Jet for some reason. It's, it's like the Baker Mayfield as a Brown. I just don't like him as a Jet. I don't think he can outshoot. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't, I don't think he can outshoot Tua with that Jets offense. Uh, that being said, I hope that I hope he just checks down to Michael Carter all all, all game because I have Michael Carter, and I put eight on the Dolphins. Diablo, I got five in Miami. I've got two on Miami. I just God, both those teams are uh, it's a battle of trash, basically. Miami's not that bad though. They've only won three games this year, Coon. I know, but they're not that bad. Like I, I was expecting record wise, they're bad, but like as a team, I feel like they're a lot better than the record. I was expecting is. move to start going J E T S Jets Jets Jets. <laughs> I'm good. I don't know if I'm gonna take them again for the rest of the year. Until they win until they win a game and then he's like, you know what? I feel lucky. <laughs> oh man. Um and then false oh. confidence turns into real confidence if they win again. And then real confidence causes mistakes and makes me fall behind and pick them. This, this next game, I probably have it overconfident in, but it's uh, New Orleans going to Philadelphia. I put nine on the Saints. I still don't know what the fuck the Saints are. I don't know what the fuck the Eagles are. They've been rushing the ball really well. Picked up Miles Sanders. I'm very excited for that possibility, but... uh. New Orleans is on a two-game skid. We lost to our rivals, and we lost to uh, Tennessee. But I just I just think we got enough in the tank to beat Philly. I mean, <laughs> Sean Payton has been coaching his ass off this season, and I just think in the end we can defensively shut down Philly enough to win this game. So nine on the Saints. Um, I put four on the Eagles. Hurst has been looking oh, good. He's stepping up and looking like an actual good quarterback lately with all the rushing help he's getting. So, yeah. Like I said, I don't know what the fuck the Saints are. We're a team. We're an above 500 team, but we're a team. I, 
pick the Saints to win at Philly with seven confidence points. I uh, I just think Philly will start to come crashing back down. Well, I was gonna I say think Philly will probably lose the next two or so. Here's the thing with the Saints, right? We beat Green Bay and Tampa, but we lose to teams like the New York Giants and. Well, you also you don't make... remember who was quarterbacking for that. <laughs> I'm game. just saying, if you can make any sense of that, more power to you. Did y'all beat Green Bay? Oh, we beat Green Bay 38-3 to week one, my friend. Oh, yeah, yeah, y'all did. And we beat Tampa with Trevor Simeon. But then, you know, we, we lose. Well, Atlanta's our rival, so I don't really count that as much. But, you know, we lose games to, like, the Giants. And I forget who else we lost to, but... Diablo, who'd you take? I took uh, Carolina four or wait. <laughs> no, above Eagles. Eagles three. I have the Saints with five. I I might be switching to the Eagles just to stay pace with Coon though, and that's my only strategy about this game because I can't call it. <laughs> like I said, if you can make any sense of the Saints, good luck. I gave you my opinion on it, and I got a decent amount of confidence right, on it. Right now, week. record-wise, I'm one game behind Kuhn, so I might be switching just as like. I will say this. I have no problem riding the New Orleans train alone. I ran him against Tampa alone, and it worked out well. So. Because me and him are already differing on the Ravens and Bears game, so there's the one game I don't want. If he happens to nail on both of them, I don't want to fall three games out. Um, Like I, like I, I said... We kept it close with Tennessee, and we came back against the Falcons. It just feels like all the Saints games are really close, and kind of whoever scores. I, I am going to switch to the Eagles because I just got flashes of Coop message in the group. Hurts, my boy, you're down. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't really say that because literally every one of y'all took the Eagles except for me. I can uh, still send it. <laughs> wait, Moose took the Eagles? No. Oh, Moose took, took the wait, Saints. You took the Saints? I took the Saints. Okay, then. Me and Mook are on that Saints. So I road. can still send it. Let's go. I, I can just see. Uh, I just got flashes of it. So, I, uh, like I said, strategy-wise, I'm going to take the Eagles. I uh, just, I, like like I said, I, I can't grade these two teams. Whenever I think the Eagles suck, Hurts pops out for four. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Whenever I think the Saints are good and beat Tampa Bay on a backup quarterback, then they ended up losing. That. Yeah, I just don't know. So. Hey, I, 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 to be fair, I warned y'all all about Atlanta beforehand. Y'all were like, you only got two on this game? I'm like, yeah, I know how Saints fucking... I, it's kind of like how Pittsburgh-Baltimore work. You never know who the fuck's going to win. Oh, yes. Only at the, the team yeah, I picked sure. that week. I was like, yeah, I was a trap game, so... Either I mean, way, I'm picking the Eagles now. I was happy I to be on the Atlanta week. train alone. Well, I, I only took put two on the Saints, but I warned you. I was like... We're going to split with them. We always split with the Falcons. It's fucking booty. Anyway, the next game, a, a weird game of sorts. Washington going to Carolina, and I... Cam Newton. Yeah, big booty big, scooting Cam Newton. Yeah, big booty scooting Cam Newton. I put seven on big booty scooting Cam Newton. Um, Washington's coming off a very big win at Tampa Bay. But uh, Carolina's coming off a big win at Arizona, so... I just think that Cam Newton's going to give this Carolina team some life, and while the biggest disappointment in the league's been Washington's defense, Carolina's defense has been very good, and Stephen Gilmore's already got an interception. They don't let you run on them. I have no reason to really pick against the Panthers here. This is one of those middle games that I didn't like putting my confidence on, but I got seven on Carolina. Uh, I put nine on Carolina. It all comes down to whenever I watch Washington play this year, they just look ugly. They look ugly playing football. It's just not fun. There's never anything good. That's one of the reasons why I got off the scary Terry train because like, oh, I feel I feel a decline starting to happen. Well, last week and they looked fucking amazing. So they they won, but I wouldn't say it looked amazing winning that. <laughs> what are you talking about? Heineke fucking only missed like two passes all game. Oh, either way. Uh, I think I slight. think I think that was a fluky, a really fluky Honestly, win. That, that might be more of a slight on Tampa's defense. And yeah, yeah Tampa's offense. defense just <laughs> lets people destroy them in the passing game this year. 
Um, the, the Panthers aren't gonna do that. I don't think they'll let them even break that many yards. <laughs> but uh, I've been on the Panthers. C Mac, amazing. Cam Newton there adds the C Mac trickery. You can do a whole bunch of crazy shit with those two. And yeah, I think that this Panthers offense is going to be rejuvenated behind the uh, motivated Cam Newton. <laughs> as much as I hate to say it. I, I agree. I 100% agree. Mook or Diablo, would you all like to go? I took the Panthers with nine. Hey, great minds think yeah. alike. Uh, Y'all pretty much said everything needed to be said. Well, I took the Panthers with six. I'm riding the big boot and scooting Cam Newton train, and I'm hoping that he he has a hell of a game. I'm calling for. I'm actually gonna predict a Cam Newton game here. I'm calling for only 250 passing yards, but two passing touchdowns, along with 50 rushing yards and one rushing touchdown. Be a big fantasy week for you if he I'm does hoping, that. And I'm hoping so because I have him on my fantasy team playing the number one top score. He's not the top, you know number one in our is, league. But he's the top scorer in our is, league by quite a bit. Is he <laughs> officially announced as starter? No. He's all the week one reps or all the starter. He's getting all the starters reps this week, and they said if he can, if he grasps enough, he can play. He'll play. So. Oh. So just monitor it, monitor it like crazy. Well, I mean, with the waiver wire rules that we have in fantasy football, he better be started because I can't pick up any more players. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's go, big boots, good Cam Newton. That being said, I only put six confidence points on this game because that's the way the confidence points fell, and I do see a way the Washington football team wins this game. I mean, Antonio Gibson is looking better from his bye week. He got the most carries since week one, and uh, looking like that bye week did it. A little, uh, little bit of rest to his uh, shin injury. Did, uh, did good, so. Panthers hey. have a good defense, though. So I took the Panthers with six. On a side note, speaking of uh, Fantasy Coon, did Asian tell you what he stuck with? Mm hmm? He stuck with that Dallas defense. <laughs> good for him. Good for him. Uh, I'm not looking forward to it with Kansas City. It was just that three pickup rule. I wanted to block ref with picking up Lane Galman since he had Patterson. I wanted Jeff Wilson and then I know I was very upset he picked up Jeff Wilson. And and then I had to replace my kicker, so defense had to stay. I'm I'm hoping for like I said, that's why I said I'm hoping for the <laughs> Keandre Diggs pick six and a few sacks. Diablo, wow. would you like to Diablo. Sorry. I'm back. Playing Starcraft so while he's fucking in the thing. <laughs> no, I'm back. I went to go get more food. Where are we at? Panthers <laughs> football in Washington. Who do you got? Uh, Panthers, yeah. Panthers, I got Panthers 4. Oh, okay, cool, cool. So, man, this next game, the 49ers going to Jacksonville. I mean, I got 12 on San Fran. Hopefully they don't. There's an interesting stat out there that, like, every team that's won on Monday night has won the next week. Uh, yeah, San Fran's competent. Jacksonville's not, so I put 12 on San Francisco. 13 on San Francisco. I like, I keep saying this about San Francisco. I don't watch them because they're on the West Coast and they're just not a team that interests me, so I don't know much about them, but I did see that they won last week against uh, the Rams, so I did see that. That being said, I don't like Trevor Lawrence. I've been saying that all year. I don't think he was worth the number one overall pick, and he has not been playing very well. Great minds think alike, because I have 13 on the 49ers. Anybody I got else? eight on the 49ers. He's smiling. No way this dude took Jacksonville. No fucking way. <laughs> I'm not switching this game. I took Jacksonville at five confidence points. Five? Five? <laughs> you were good on me with the fucking Lions and Browns. At least Jacksonville's <laughs> won. Don't even go there. At least Jacksonville's won a game. Yeah, Jacksonville's yeah, won, won, sir. The Lions are just so unlucky. They would have had the Ravens. Yeah. 
but fucking a record breaking <laughs> film goal. I put five on the Jacksonville Jaguars. I'm not kidding. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure Coon <laughs> sure has reasons why uh, he's taking Jack. Uh, he will tell us. James Robinson. James Robinson is one. And, uh... Hello, I don't like the Niners this week. I have a gut feeling that this is a bad week for the Niners to play football. I feel like... like it's just like one of those things where I know how they play in the division. <laughs> Football, but is, does your gut say that that bad week of football is bad enough to be worse than the Jaguars? Yes. <laughs> if you call this one, bravo. I think I don't. I think that Rams one was fluky as hell. It was a division game, and that's why it was a fluky ass one. I think I still think San Fran is not going to do as well as like they did last week. I think that they're going to lose to the Jaguars this week. It's a gut feeling, it could be wrong, but I'm riding this train because I am free. Five points worth of confidence in it. And that's it. I think J and also I think James Robinson is more capable enough to carry the Jaguars to win if needed. Fair enough. <laughs> Alright, now we're entering the shaky territory, y'all. The next game on here is uh <laughs> Cincinnati going to Vegas. And, uh, yeah, as Kuhn and Mook always say, in Burrow we trust. I, I put two points on the Well, table, great uh, minds think alike, yes, in Burrow we trust. Two points for yeah, I mean, <laughs> Oh, God, you guys are making me regret how many points I put on this. I just, I just, I, I don't think Vegas is a bad team. I just think they're a shaky team, and everything's falling apart in Vegas. I feel like if Cincinnati is, this is really the best Bengals team we've seen in 20 years, they're going to end up rebounding this week. I feel like they kind of have to if they're going to keep playing in the AFC North. AFC North. Well, and Burrow, we trust, because I took the Bengals to beat the Raiders with 10 confidence points. I, I don't think the Bengals are that bad of a team. I don't Maybe think either. These teams are bad. Not. I think the Raiders are starting to fall off. I think they're starting to crash back down to reality. <laughs> I see both these teams as like the same caliber right now. I like the Bengals a little bit better. Well, me too. That's why I put them up too. <laughs> I got ten points. The Bengals. How many confidence? Uh, ten. I don't know what the Bengals are. They lose to Chicago, they lose to the Jets, they lose to Cleveland, but they blow out Baltimore, they beat, you know, they beat Pittsburgh, they beat Minnesota. It's, you know, is Pittsburgh that great of a team? I'm a Pittsburgh fan, I'm going to say not really. Is Minnesota that great of a team? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I have two on the Raiders. That's fair. I couldn't, I, I can see this game going either way. So Bang. I... I just, I just figured, you know, why not Cincinnati? And the one time I'm Burrow, I trusted. He blew my fucking. <laughs> you didn't I trust him enough, to Asian. I, I can't. It's, and it's not Burrow. It's Cincy. It's that Cleveland syndrome. It's that you know Ohio team syndrome. I just, Bal uh, not Baltimore, but uh, Cincy. Raiders have more. Oh. Raiders, in my opinion, have a little bit more impressive wins. But, you know, I don't know. They did lose to Chicago, too, so never mind. I am looking at their Yeah, they, they've lost some questionable games also. That's why I view these two teams, like, the same. And they lost to the Giants. I am looking at their schedule now. So, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, it's... Uh, I don't, it's... I don't like picking... Besides Baltimore, I don't like picking up Cleveland or Cincinnati in our division. So, I'm just going to stick with an ups my upset of the week, and we'll go with... I see. I don't even know how to view this game. Even on the thing, it's fifty-five, forty-five Cincinnati. Yeah, I, was, I just I was trying to say that the Raiders have more impressive wins, but they have just as impressive lot or unimpressive losses too. So I don't know. I just think I, I actually think that this game's gonna go a long way to de determine in which one of these two teams get into the playoffs because I do think one of them are gonna get in. Who hasn't picked? 
Uh, no, I think I was last. You all, all. Uh, yeah, we all picked the Bengals. No, we were talking about the other game. Oh man! Oh, I already know Mook wants to start this next game. Mook, Dallas is going to Kansas City. What's your take? I got, Dude, I got the Dallas Cowboys with three confidence points. Because I don't know if the Chiefs are the Chiefs anymore. I mean, well, I don't know if they will continue to be the Chiefs. Damn. Well, first off, I think that this game has Shooter written all over it. Uh, this is going to be a defensive City. game, 7-13. <laughs> I put Kansas City with one just because I love picking against the Cowboys. That's really my only reasoning. I'll I'll take Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs after they just drop forty. I'll I can counter those the Chiefs are back and it gives me a reason to pick against Dallas. So yeah, you like picking against them, but like we're seven and two. I don't I don't I don't understand the hate. We, Ruth, we're a good team. Ruth, you pick Detroit. I don't need advice from you. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> who, who needs to pick? <laughs> I got Dallas. What? Fifteen. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> he is confident in them Dallas Cowboys. My team. Uh, he's more confident in Dallas than he is in Seattle. He hey, put look. all his points on fucking Dallas. Like we don't want to talk about that, right? We are. Definitely moving on from what you just said. <laughs> I put I, I put six on the Chiefs. Um, I think the Chiefs are getting it back together. I think that they can put more points than almost. I think they can put more points than almost anyone in the league. So, excuse me, are you high right now? If they get back, if they have their shit back together. They're at home. Um. Darrell Williams has been looking good the whole time, even when the Chiefs were looking bad, but now, since they're starting to look better, I'm going to put six on the Chiefs. That's just how confidence fell. Uh, fell. I would put lower, personally, but how confidence fell. I mean, I put one on the Chiefs. I'm with Kai. I think this is going to be the shooter game of the week. I... I didn't think the Chiefs were as bad as everyone's making them out to be this year. Yeah, they had a few games where they didn't score as many points, but I mean, that that pace that they were on for the last two years couldn't they couldn't maintain that every oh, no, no. every single game. And the teams that they've lost to, they're good teams. They've lost to Baltimore, they lost to the Chargers, they lost to oh, Buffalo, no. they lost to Tennessee. I mean, huh? they don't they don't lose to bad teams at least. But not losing Dallas. Let's go. <laughs> I don't think Dallas is a bad team. I'm not a believer in it's November and Dallas is going to go on their losing streak. They've only lost two games and all of a sudden everyone's making fun of Dallas again. You know, let's, let's wait a couple more weeks of losses and then we can start making fun of Dallas. I do think Dallas is a good team. I do think their NFC championship contender potential, you know. They have that type of, you know, firepower and their defense can catch fire like that, especially in the playoffs. That being said, I got to choose Patrick Mahomes with one point. It's, and, it's, it's also hard to go into Kansas City and win. That's a very tough place to play. I, just, I don't think either team are as bad as anyone's making them out to be like. And Well, I was going to say the thing play. is, every team, every good team in the league has fumbled away a game they weren't supposed to lose. And Denver was Dallas's fumble away. Aside from that, you lost to Brady on opening night, and you you put up more yards than Brady. So, uh, and you know, Dallas. As much as I hate to say it, they kind of came back last week and showed everyone kind of what was up after that Denver loss, and just beat the fucking dog piss out of Atlanta. Like that game was over at halftime. It was a pitiful watch. I think sixty total points are scored here. I'll give a score of thirty four thirty Chiefs. I just, like I said, also, Mook, part of me putting one on the Chiefs is that's just two really good teams, and y'all are going into KC. KC's loud, <laughs> very hard to play in. I actually had a question for y'all that I heard today. Who do y'all think needs to win more, the Cowboys or the Chiefs? The Chiefs. The yes. Cowboys. They're, they're, in a, they're in a lot stronger division. Like, <laughs> it's still not, it's... They already lost to the Chargers, and you're going to have to play the Chargers and the Raiders again, and 
theoretically, both of those teams are still very alive in the division, whereas if Dallas loses, no one's catching them in the division. And see, see, you still have a chance to one seed. So. But, uh, you know, I was watching a video, and it was uh, Michael Irvin and Stephen A. talking. They were like, Michael Irving said the Chiefs needed it more, and Stephen A. said the Cowboys needed it more. I think well, I Stephen A. is also just the uh, yeah. pure well, hatred for the Cowboys. No, no, I don't think they need it more, but I think this is more of a statement game for the Cowboys to be like, yeah, we are those real contenders. We put Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs in their That's- spot. That that's why he said that. Well, I took it as the uh, for the Chiefs needing it more because the vision, you know. So I just figured it hurt since I heard it. I Cowboys keep it a close game; they'll be respectable. Still, it's if they get blown out forty-two to fourteen is when they're gonna get made fun of again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I don't think they will. Like I said, I feel like Dak had one bad week and people overreacted. I feel like we had that one week of make we had that one week of making fun of the Cowboys again, and then they come out and shut us all up. <laughs> no, nah, fuck them, Cowboys. <laughs> um. So, uh, well, well, I mean, I know we're not into the next game yet, but I had a question for you. who. Who do we let go first? I was gonna let Coon go first, obviously. <laughs> but what about Diablo? It's the Seahawks too. Because because Diablo don't want to talk about Seattle right now. Uh, damn right I do want to talk about this. We're gonna stop them. Oh well, then go ahead. Arizona going to Seattle. Go ahead, Diablo. Go for it. Boom! Seattle's gonna win. It's gonna be a shooter game, also. If Russell will pull his head out of his ass. Anyways, beside the point. Um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna wish any evil upon anything, cause look what happened. <clears throat> Anyways, <laughs> nah. Um. Yeah, I only got, like, one point on Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude, go ahead. Throw your counter right um, <laughs> This is a way confidence spell. I put seven on the Cardinals, but I do think Seattle might win this one, if I'm going to be honest. I think we're going to get the resurgence of Russell Wilson. I don't think it's going to be a shootout, because I think it's either going to be low scoring, low score, or a blowout. <laughs> So, I can see us win this, but this is a, this is, if they're going to take a game off of us this year, it should be this one. But I put seven on Cardinals, and, uh, on, on Actually, the, uh, bank, like I'm, on there. I'm banking on Murray not playing. Also, I'll have that known. If Murray I'll plays, then I'm a lot more confident. If, but if Murray stays sideline like I think he is, then, yeah, I think we might Wait, lose this. If Murray don't play... Y'all have a huge advantage. No. Metcalf with his fucking damn penalties. No. Metcalf didn't cost you a game. It was your whole team. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm not talking about him costing the game. I'm just saying the penalties do help a lot. And he tends to get a lot of penalties almost every game. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, really? Uh, Pat, Pat, Pat McCaffrey, or whatever his name is. Pat McAfee? Pat McAfee? Yeah. I was talking about it. On one of his shows, because uh, Bradshaw was showing me. <laughs> My God, that shit was funny. But yeah, I have a feeling Metcalf's gonna give y'all good penalties because he tends to like to throw up fighting shit, you know, punching, face mask, etc. Well, continuing <laughs> on, since we're talking about my second favorite team in the NFL, I guess I'll go next. You mm-hmm. picked against them. I have. <laughs> I have I you this used to be my four point game, but then I decided to change it for another one, which might be stupid. But uh we will get with that. So right now I have the cards winning at uh Seahawks with twelve confidence points. Motherfucker. Uh, I think I am thinking Murray will play. I don't think he, I does. Think he does. He's gonna ball out. And originally, this was my four. All right, guys, I'll be right back. I gotta go somewhere real quick. I think I'll honestly be upset if we play Murray this week because he should. He should have left them. Opinion on this game? Oh, I do. I want to hear it. I just want to go to Mook's house and kick his fucking ass. Ah, you want to go or you want me to go, Asian? Don't matter to me. You can go. 
I put 10 on the Cardinals. I don't think it matters if Murray plays or not. I think Russell came back from uh, injury way too early. I think he looked bad last week. I think he's going to look bad again this week. I think he's desperately tried to keep Seattle in the playoffs, and it's just too much this year. I think that Arizona's defense is good, and they're just going to send pressure at him all day. I actually have Seattle as my fewest points scored this week, so until they show me that that offense isn't dead, um, yeah, I can't confidently pick the Seahawks right now Why Arizona, even with Colt McCoy, still looks competent and that they can put up points. So I got 10 on Arizona. I have three on Arizona, and I'm basing that on Kyler Murray limping out there playing on his ankle. I really hope we don't play Kyler. I, I mean, if he does not play, I will probably be switching to the Seahawks because I do not believe in Colt McCoy in that offense. Colt McCoy and James Conner in that offense enough. I like, I like James Conner, but Colt McCoy got injured, so I don't know how I feel about injured Colt McCoy. As of right now, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting Kyler Murray to gut it out and hobble out there as best as he can and throw darts as much as he can. Not run, but just try to throw as much as he can. But that would be dumb because he could get injured even more. Well, yes, maybe. it would be dumb. <laughs> All players do, and I think... Uh, just like Russell playing, like, Caleb was right, he came back early. And if he gets hurt again, then he's going to be done for the season. I have three on the Cardinals, though, and I'm expecting Murray to play if he doesn't. Like I said, I'm just believing in Arizona's defense. I think Arizona's defense is about as good as the Packers' defense. And I just think I just think Seattle's going to gonna struggle to get points, whereas Arizona can get points in bunches even with a backup in, so... Oh, here we go, Agent. This next game, the Sunday Wait, Nighter. Oh, What's damn up? It. Go ahead. Let's make a bet on this one. I want to join the pie game. <laughs> oh, I mean, know. I'm not betting on this game. I don't have anything to bet on. What is that bet, Diablo? Well, you want you down? Are you in for this bet? What is it? You want the uh, so, 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 game? If Seattle wins, Mook, since you went against them. Well, I just want to know what it is first. I'll just get a pie in the face. No, no, the bet. That's the bet. Yeah, Seattle beating Cardinals straight up. Yeah. Since you took the Cardinals. With a lot of confidence, man. <laughs> there, there's, there's no point spread or nothing. It's just a straight up whoever wins I'm, the game. I will have to give you a rain check. I'm looking. I'm, I'm looking at what the point spread is. Because if Murray plays, then I might be able to take you up on that bet. Right now, by what I see, the spread is Arizona two and a half. So Arizona's getting two and a half points. Anyways, carry on. Uh, I'll give you a run check. I, I need to know. Next game is Steelers and Chargers, and I guess yeah. I'll leave off that game since it's my team. Chargers is the home team. Uh, I called last game being a trap game, even though I took the Steelers. I had just a little, a little more confidence in, in that, but... This game, even though without T.J. Watt and Minka Fitzpatrick and probably Ben Roethlisberger and all of our receivers being there, I don't know. I feel like this is a game that the Steelers could possibly win. We we find to win. We we seem to find to win games that we shouldn't win, like Buffalo, and this could be another game. It just depends on what Justin Herbert did we get from the Chargers. It's either going to be, in my opinion, a Steelers win or a Chargers blowout, and if I had to take a bet on it, I'm not betting Mason and Rudolph to win. I put four on the Chargers, and it hurts. Yeah. I, you want to drop, drop a score? No, I don't. <laughs> I, I, I dropped the score of 15. I don't think Rudolph gets one touchdown. I think we kicked five field goals. 15 um, to 24. I'll be that one guy. I took seven for Pittsburgh. Don't worry, Asian. I got you. Thank you. I. I. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mook. I took the Chargers with 11 points. And I said the score was 21 24 Chargers. Diablo, you want to drop your score fast? In a full rain. God. The score? Yeah. But. What was your score for the game? For Pittsburgh, LA. Yeah. Oh, down there. I haven't. I, I, I didn't pick. My bad. I didn't pick them. Give me a second. I forgot about those. 
Well, um, while he does that, well, I, I was waiting. Yeah, I took the Chargers with eight. I I still think the Chargers will probably lose this game. I don't know. This. Why would you pick them then? Because I have to. It's my <laughs> boy Herbert the pervert. Because you have to. It's, it's on paper. I, yeah, yeah, it's on paper. I have well, to. I already took some gambles. But I it's do. Just a, it's just a gut feeling, like. Yeah. I, I'm going on the assumption that Roethlisberger's playing. If he's not playing, I'm gonna switch to the Chargers. But I got three on Pittsburgh right now. It's been Herbert's great, but it's been proven that his O line kind of sucks, and he sucks against pressure. And I feel like Pittsburgh's gonna be pressuring him a lot. But uh, if Mason Rudolph gets the start, then the three goes to the Chargers. That's just a, that's just simple. But if Big Ben's playing, I think Pittsburgh finds a way to pull this game out and. On the primetime stage, I feel like they're better equipped to take the primetime stage than the Chargers, who find a way to lose games. Oh, I am with you there, but I am predicting that Ben's out there. That's why I chose the Chargers. But if Ben does come back from COVID, I will be switching to the Steelers. I got twenty-one seventeen. Fair enough. Uh, twenty-eight twenty-four Pittsburgh. Eight is how much I put on the game. By the way, I don't know if I said that. It was about pop this bell. Um, and my score is 17 to 10. Chargers win. And closing it out, the New York football giants going to Tampa Tommy. This is where all my confidence are. 15 on Tampa. I mean, I know Brady's missing Gronk and Brown, but it's the Giants. Like, they're not very good. They beat a few good teams, but... I like to throw this out there. I just can't... Go ahead. Based on our picks last week... I'm gonna laugh if they fucking stomp Tampa Bay. Well, that's fine. You know, I put all my confidence on Tampa. Out, you know. I just, I just feel like, I feel like, you know, anytime Brady loses, he comes back pissed off at the world next week and ends up throwing like four or five touchdowns. Which actually, you know, seeing that the tiebreakers can... don't really ever matter. I actually made the score of this game: the Giants seventeen and Tampa Bay sixty-nine. So. <laughs> So, um, I'm, sure, I'm sure you can tell who I who I have scored the most points this week. The Giants. I got Tampa Bay yeah, on the score for 28 Tampa Bay, 14 yeah. Giants. I should really stop eating. So, I'm, keeping, I'm keeping that Tampa at 69 too. It's not changing. Um. Originally. Oh, go ahead. Uh, okay. Well, I put 15 on the box. I'm not worried about the Giants. It's Tom Brady. If there's a game to put 15 on, it's this one or the Titans, and I yeah, just chose this I one. Think, I think we did 15 on Tampa, 14 on Tennessee. So. Mm, and uh, my score is a very, very, very respectable 99 to 2. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we I, I, I would have uh, gone 4 to 20, but you cannot put triple digits. We're, we're both in the you same ballpark here. Tom Brady? Huh? You think they're going to get a safety on Tom Brady? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be at the very beginning of the game, too, like the first drive. I got 299 points. I'm more concerned about the two points. What do you mean? You don't think they can get a safety? That's kind of fucked no. up, Asian. It's not hard to tackle someone. So, so we're both in the same ballpark together, Coon. <laughs> yeah. I give the Giants a little bit more credit. And Tampa, not as much. What do you mean? I gave him a lot of credit. I gave him two whole points. That's what I'm saying. I gave him a little bit more credit because I got him with 17. I gave him a defensive but, two you know. points. <laughs> well, you know, they, they, they could get a safety and kick five field goals. There ain't a problem with that. So, originally, I, uh, I had this as my 12-point game. But uh, seeing how Tampa has not been playing as good, and last year, when the Giants played Tampa, they almost won. And, I don't know, it just seems like Tampa's having a tough time playing our division. They they beat us by two in a very close game the first week. They lose to the Washington. They lost. They beat they Philly by... Philly? Didn't they stop I Philly? I think Philly started to make a comeback oh, at no, the end. They, but... Yeah, they, they beat Philly by, like, five. I remember that was a Thursday night game. And I think the Giants will keep it close. I have four on this game. This was my uh, card Seahawks game with four. And, you know, after seeing that, I was like, you know what? I'll switch it. 
With that being said, I did not switch the score of what I originally thought when I put him when I had them as twelve. I have the Giants at ten and the Bucks at fifty five. <laughs> and they're not even my top scorers of the week. Not either. <laughs> oh, I put Tampa as my top scorer. I'm gonna laugh when one of these days these tiebreakers come back and bite y'all in the ass. What do you mean? I'm gonna be perfectly predicted. I took Tampa Tom with 12. I mean, he hardly ever loses twice in a row. Uh, I might be switching to 14 with the Packers game. Cause right now I have Packers 14 over the Vikings. I might be switching that. Two points though. I don't know if that really makes a difference. So I don't, it doesn't really matter. I got the Buccaneers winning twenty-eight to sixteen. That's a that's a lot of score. Yeah. I mean, I do see a world where the Giants win. Saquon is probably coming back. He's going to be well rested. Saquon's still a monster. He, he can still do Saquon like things. So. Hi, right, boy. I got twelve on the Buccaneers. And that's my most Tampa and my fewest points, Seattle. Fuck you. Well, you know, until Russell shows me he can score, I'm not going to put fucking faith in him, Diablo. I'm putting him down there not with that. Jacksonville status right now. So not that's you, like, sorry. Sorry, not that's you. The, that's the under duress list right now. So you better hope, you know, being on that list makes, he, makes him pull his head out of his ass and score some touchdowns this week. <sighs> My I most... played him in my in-town league. He got me four whole points, Diablo. Four. <laughs> my ass pimples have more views than that, bro. My most are the Patriots, and my least are the Browns. I'm thinking that they're going to get shut out by that, by that Detroit team. Oh, my God. Stop talking about Detroit. <laughs> that would be a wet dream come true for me. <laughs> oh man, Agent's camera froze like the perfect face there for about half a second. Uh, uh, my most points this week is my winner of the shooter game of the week, which is Kansas City. And my least point, I'm I'm gonna keep on picking on them. It's gonna be Houston. <laughs> Diablo, what was your most and least? Diablo. He's still trying to pick, maybe. Who, who was who was the? I have to look at the scores. Who was the well, least score? I... the, the most the oh. most would be uh. Oh, the least was Atlanta. Last, no, the least was Seattle last week. Was it? Yeah, they didn't score a point. Uh, mo uh, the least will be uh the Giants, and then the most will be uh Tampa. And the most last week hmm. was uh was actually Buffalo. Dallas yeah. was close, but it was it was <laughs> Buffalo and New England technically. Uh, yes, are you guys ready for this? What, do you mean? <laughs> what did Buffalo get? I thought they only got like twenty two. Buffalo, Buffalo, and New England both got forty five last week, and Dallas had forty three. The mm. highest scoring team this week will be the Jacksonville Jaguars. <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> I did. I did. I don't know if you can see that too well. Yeah, I can see it. I see Atlanta being the lowest. Yeah, Atlanta being the lowest. Let's go. I guess that's the timeline. It is the timeline. Believe it. So, now that we're uh, almost on the podcast, no. do any of y'all have any plans after this? I want to play Mario. So I'm, I'm just not even going to lie to you. I want to play Mario. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't want to touch Overwatch right now. Oh, I was thinking Dead by Daylight with Anthony as killer. <laughs> but you know what? If y'all don't want to do anything, I guess I'll just... I said I don't want to touch Overwatch. It's not really that I don't want to yeah. do anything. I just want to play Mario. I, I want to hear about our traits some more. Oh, Lord. I'm not. I'm not against playing something with y'all. I just would just would rather play my hack because I'm really enjoying that hack right now. All right. Well, that's cool. I'll that's just it for podcasts. Y'all have a good one. I mean, if you do really this every Wednesday, and we'll see you later.